Hello, David Zwerski for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. I am joined once again by the effervescent. 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 Why am I saying pheasant? Effer I have no idea. I'm Danielle. not a bird. Hello. It's Danielle. Danielle, you're back. I am. You're a crowd favorite. Do you know that? I don't know why. Because you are um, a nice, fresh change of pace from okay. just hearing me yak at a camera. Okay. That's the truth. We have drinks. I, yep. Okay, so what are you drinking today? This is kind of like a quasi old fashioned. How did it come out? I'm going to taste right. test. While you're doing that, taste test that. Um, we have coasters that are like totally on point for our video today. Give her the blue one. I've got the gold one. What do you think? Mm, that's good. Is it good? Cheers. Cheers. I have Johnny Walker Black over ice because it's a little warm today for oh the my time God. of year it is. It's like 80 degrees with a thousand percent humidity. I don't know what's happening. What's going on? <laughs> it's like we were enjoying such a nice long transition in fall. Yeah. Fall's been beautiful this year. And then we nice went back cool to the future. Crisp. Into summer. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah. I got a case of the vapors. <laughs> oh, I got a case of the horribles. We're not here to talk about the weather. No, Shockingly. We're not. Mm -mm. Um, so here's the deal. Uh, Danielle, I always, you know, from time to time, either libations, consumables, or mm -hmm. luxury products, I like to invite you. And we were sent by the wonderful people at Bowers and Wilkins. Bowers and Wilkins. Bowers and Wilkins. Uh, this beautiful box. And that sort of gives you a hint about what this is. Uh, this is a PX8 007 edition noise canceling wireless headphones. Oh, nice. Pretty nice. Yeah. Now, all right, let's, let's describe to everybody before we like dig into this. This is mm -hmm. going to be an unboxing. Mm -hmm. We're going to test these out. We're going to have a conversation. How do you listen to your music? What do you use? Oh, typically like for earbuds? Every day. Um, <laughs> you forgot the name. I forgot what they're called. They're, uh, I don't know. I put them in my ears and they're, they have fantastic sound. What are they're, they they're not AirPods though. No, I don't, I don't use AirPods. Right. I tend to use AirPods. Yes. In the past. I didn't know I was going to ask. A uh, pro something pro. They're, they're, they're black and they're cool and they're unique. But that's okay. You can insert something there. You would think <laughs> I have that editing prowess. Nah. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. But, but the other thing is I use, you know, AirPods on planes and things like that. It's just convenient. I use them to talk. Yeah. But I, in the past, I had um, the Steinhausers. Remember the Steinhausers? Steinhausers, yeah. Noise canceling, yes. et cetera. I, I don't think we've ever had something as nice as this. No, now. not this luxe. Yeah. No. Uh, this is pretty luxe. And this is essentially what happened. This company who they've been around since something like 1966, mm. founded in the UK. So okay. another UK brand. They had partnered in the past with the Bond producers okay. on sound, on speakers, um, when they had to do like mixing for 007 music. And right. it, you probably have noticed, like when I flew off to London, this is a year where they're celebrating the 60th anniversary. I have heard that. You've heard that. I have. Poor thing, she's the same. But uh, you've also heard that there's kind of a lean towards music and sound. Sure, love it. Yeah. Love music. You're, and this is all, so here's the reality. We have to play in the world of reality. I'm gonna take a sip. Mm. Danielle is much more an audiophile than I am. Any day of the week. I listen to James Bond tunes and some crazy things like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang while I'm working out. <laughs> Just blasting away. <laughs> and she has, you You have tastes that are very wide. Yeah, I listen to pretty much everything. Everything? Not, yeah, I mean. Not country. Not really, not so much country, but pretty much everything else, everything. Yeah. So she needs to test this out more than I do because it's not just what this looks like and what they've done. It's got to be the quality. And by the way, you can tell we've never opened this because Actually, it's still got the... Yeah, the packaging looks really nice on it. Packaging is really nice. <clears throat> I and want... I will say this. So I do listen yeah. to a lot of music, particularly on with your earphones or earbuds. Um, primarily because there's many days where David's working from home. And I don't want to disturb him. Even so, he says, I don't disturb him when I play music. But still, I feel guilty and I want to keep the house quiet. So I listen to all my music through my, you know with the earbuds or some something direct, not on like a loudspeaker. That's fair. So, um, 
I'm very excited to see how they sound. This, this is going to be interesting. So first of all, we always look at packaging. Uh, you can tell it's teasing us. It's got the 60th anniversary mark on it. On the ear cups on the inside, you've got the gun barrel. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and I, it's asleep. Okay, oh, so nice. that's good. Now, it always looks like I'm throwing these things down. I'm carefully, gently placing them on the ground. I'm going to clean up later. I'll clean it up. So there you've got the inside packaging. It's like a donut hole inside of a donut hole. That isn't a donut hole. There's like many layers. Do you know what that's from? Enlighten me. Knives Out with Daniel Craig. All right. Donut hole. It sounds like Foghorn Leghorn. I say, I say, boy. That part I do remember him sounding like Foghorn Leghorn. I keep setting them up and you keep putting them down. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. You get right to it. So mm -hmm. we've taken off the top. <laughs> Take off so. your top. <laughs> This is a kit show. What's wrong with you? I'm gonna go take take a sip of Johnny Walker Black. Uh, uh, what is oh, what my is Johnny chip Walker? is worth more than yours. I just noticed that. Your chip is your chip is always worth more than me. She's looking at the coaster, folks. Uh, do you know what Johnny Walker Black from is from? Which movie? Let's see what a, a big osmosis geek you are. <laughs> well, it's definitely a Craig film. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. If you get not it. the latest film. It um, is the latest film. Then it's the latest film. All right, so <laughs> there is clearly an instruction booklet at the base. We're gonna put the base down because that is... Oh, nice. Mm, that is the carrying case. What do you think? Yeah, nice. Very nice. Deep blue, we happen to love blue. Yeah, take a look. Oh, it's nice quality. Really nice quality. So the design of the case itself, they've had this basic type of headphone and case mm -hmm. for a while. It's part of their kind of heritage brand. Okay. It's made specifically, you'll love this. This is this is where I lose this to her permanently. This is to go into the backpacks when you travel. Oh, cool. To be nice and flat. Okay. And you can also fit like other equipment in there and things like that. But as we open it, mm. and unfortunately I'm gonna show them first. Wow, this is fancy schmancy. So you've got... Oh, very nice. Yeah, and this is all, feel that. It was like suede. Yeah, it's like a lamb's ear. It's uh, flocked 60th anniversary, PX8007 edition on this side, and cradled, cradled, like a tiny baby in its buggy, is this. You want the silicone packet to eat? Oh, poison. <laughs> um, You've got this little flap that kind of holds everything in place. Oh, you your cords. have the cord to charge it. Gosh, I hope this is charged so we could try this out. They always charge it a little bit. And then you have the headphones themselves. So let's take, oh, wow. Look again, look how nice that is. Very nice. It's, and it's, you know what? I think also it looks like it'll protect your headphones really well too. It will. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's got a... So there's two types of cords, by the way. They've got um, the computer to computer, and they also have a jack cord. So this is going to do the trick. It smells nice. I don't know why I smell things like this. But uh, let's take this protective layer off. Okay. And ooh, they're, they're lighter than I expected. They are. Feel those. Like for some reason, I, I expected these to be. You know what? I have not worn this kind of a headphone in quite a while, so they do feel like they have some sort of heft. Yeah, so um, let's let's talk about this because maybe it's weighted nice on the head. On the inside, we're going to bring this nice and close. You could see this. It's good that we have some ambient lighting right now. Um, it this is a screen. You could see it's actually the gun barrel. Yeah, that goes over the electronics and the cones and everything. This <laughs> this is crazy that they did this. So this is the midnight blue. Mm. Same exact color that was Dr. No's, uh, sorry, James Bond, Sean Connery in Dr. No's mm -hmm. tuxedo. Same oh, exact wow. color. They okay. used a Napa leather, feel that. So that's Whoa. not pleather, it's not plastic. That's nice. It's not biometric, all right, easy. <laughs> you gotta pay extra for that. Um, but this is a beautiful Napa leather. It, it is so soft to the touch. And around your ears is the same navy oh, is it? Napa leather. Oh my gosh, that's so soft. Okay, it is nice. So that's what's going against soft. your your head, your ears. So exactly, very comfortable. Now be. they have a nice, cool steel aluminum. You could see the colors here. Very James Bond. Mm. And 
This is kind of like a little thing, but I think it's also important. We've had this discussion before. When something goes 007, yeah. James Bond. Yeah, this is very subtle. It's very subtle. It's and kind of like an inside little wink wink to yourself. It is. Only on the top. And who's really looking there? Only on the top. And just on the one side. And just on the one side. On your right side. On the right side yeah. is the 007, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And then this is a little cute little thing they did. This red right here is supposed to stand out as kind of like a, um, an ode to some of the markings of James Bond, some of that coolness of it. Uh, do me a favor. Yeah. Oh, oh, smooth. Just try these on, feel the touch of it, etc. Yeah. I figured I'd, I'd let her, I'm trying to be a gentleman, be the first to try this on. Oh. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can still hear you, but it's definitely muffled. Same time next week, Mrs. Bell. Oh, is it muffled already? We haven't even turned it on. Yeah, it's muffled. How does it feel? Is it comfortable though? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It fits snug so you don't feel like they're going to come flying off. They're not like That's a tight, good thing. If that makes sense. No, it totally Am makes I sense. Am I shouting? I hope I'm not shouting. No, you're not shouting at all. Um, <laughs> one of the things that I should mention about these is mm -hmm. supposedly the setup of this is very easy. And this is, look, Danielle, oh, there's like an envelope here. Okay, so I see like the little Bluetooth symbol. That's where the red. Yep. So you can kind of, it stands out a little bit. Yeah. Oh, wow. More fanciness. So another 60th anniversary booklet. And inside, <laughs> nice. how's that? Look at this. Mm -hmm. So I'll read this real quick. Bowers and Wilkins has a long relationship with the music of Bond. Some of the most iconic 007 scores have been recorded using our 800 series diamond loudspeakers at London's Abbey Road Studios. Mm. You know Abbey, Abbey Road, Road Studios. Abbey Normal. No. Abbey, no. Continue. Co. Commemorating the diamond anniversary of 007, this edition is finished in midnight blue, celebrating the dinner jacket worn by James Bond in his first mm -hmm. on-screen appearance. High-performance wireless sound, synonymous Bowers and Wilkins, is as elegant and timeless as the world-famous spy himself. Mm. Very nice touch. And then we have the all-important... Are you smelling that? You can smell the leather. That's a good thing. Yeah. So now you've got literally one sheet okay. as a quick start guide. And here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to play this game today. First of all, I'm going to take another sip. We are going to start this without editing because we want to show how difficult, easy, et cetera, this okay. is. So we've got, um, so get your phone. phone. Okay. And I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth. Yep. All right, oh, so it played it a little bit of music, it chimed, and now it's trying to find Bluetooth. Okay, let me... So Danielle's opening up her Bluetooth. Other devices. And, oh, you know what? I think I have to hold it up to find it. Oh, it says ready to check. Oh, here it is, PX8. Yeah. So she's hitting it on her phone. Okay, it's connected. Oh. That could literally be it. I've not installed the accessory Bowers and Wilkins PX8 uses oh, an app. That, no, no, no. That's that's only if you want to listen to music on their app. So you can hit not it. Not right now. We'll check exactly. that out later. So you can hit ignore. Um, how do you know which is the right and which is the left? It's set on the inside. Oh my gosh. My memory is like a colander. It just... So <laughs> why don't you do this? Pick out a song okay. on your YouTube channel of songs. Okay. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let Danielle listen to this first. Again, she's the audiophile. She's going to be able to tell. Now, there's all these cool settings. I'm sure there's fancy settings on here. But we want to just get up and start. What are you laughing about? Oh, are you going to play a rap song? You can play whatever you play. No one's going to. Here, put this on, first of okay. all. Wait, something's playing already. Oh, you know what? It just, it... never mind. Is it your music? Okay. Um, let me find something here. Find anything. You could play anything at all. It could be words. It could be soundtrack. She doesn't have soundtracks. Feel free to tell us like what you're looking through to make your decision because otherwise we'll go quiet on this video. <laughs> okay, I'll just play the first thing that's on here. Okay. What is it? 
Not going to tell me. All right, she's listening to it. So this is supposed to, and as she's listening to it, let me just kind of talk to you a little bit about this. This is a proprietary 24-bit wireless platform optimized for high-resolution music streaming. It's carefully angled four millimeter drive units are engineered to even higher standards. Thanks to its ultra fast response carbon cones, huh? Inspired by its widely reversed 700 series loudspeakers, the P8 captures crucial music details that only headphones simply miss. This is this headphone listening on an all new level of clarity, immersion, and realism. So you hear the true sound of the most instantly recognizable theme songs in the history of cinema, if she was listening to 007, which she's not. So based on that, first of all, can you hear me, hon? Can you hear me? <laughs> you can't. That's a good thing. So I just hear murmuring. I can't breathe. No, no, that's fine. But this sound is fantastic. <laughs> all right. So, so talk to us a little bit about the clarity. You were listening to Michael Jackson, weren't you? No, I wasn't. No. <laughs> It was something dark, I could tell, because she didn't want to share it. Something... For those who don't, will know, by my lip sync came anyway. I digress. Um, super clear sound. Like, just amazing. I, I want to try to find something that has, like, a little more um, bass. Percussion, yeah. I was going to say, do that. It. Do you not have any soundtracks at all? Like... I do not have... You have Adele's Skyfall. I don't have that downloaded. Um, Wait, you're on YouTube, right? Yeah, I can put on. You oh, can put well, on I anything. I just found something that has like a good sound to it. For you. We need some percussion. We need that like. Dun, 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 dun. What are you playing? Can you just describe? Just tell us. So, uh, do you want to hear the? Sure. So you can hear like the bass is really good on this. This this song has got some nice bass to it. I don't wow. Know if, yeah. And I don't know if I'm, there are some buttons on the back here and I would be interested to so know what they do. there's different settings that you can put this on. I want to be careful that I don't scream either. Um, <laughs> let me see this for a second. Sure. So this is, um, it's like a regular song that she's playing right now. It's really nice actually. Uh, so yeah, go to, do you oh, have YouTube? Here you can music? just go. I'll so one of the things, uh, Pilot to Bombardier, Pilot to Bombardier. What song do you Actually, hear? these are pretty low profile. Oh, it's not really like standing out. Playlist. Oh, that's not a. Oh, perfect. No, no. Ah. I see it. I see it. But right there, twenty-four. Got it. So now I'm playing Final Ascent okay. from Hans Zimmer, which starts off kind of low, if you know Final Ascent. Um, this is from No Time to Die. So I'm going to actually shudder a little bit. Fast. Oh, wow. See, that's the thing with Hans Zimmer. You get that big throaty sound. Mm. You know what I'm also noticing? I don't know how to quite describe this, but the separation of sounds. Yes. So hearing like every note and instrument, like I really hear the violins. Um, Can I? Yeah. Can I listen real quick? Because I'm oh, trying sure. to understand what you're just. Just get, let me do one thing because I want to just get to. Yeah, I'm and the immersion things. of it too. I think. You probably can't hear what I'm saying, but I'm going to be. Mine. Here we go. All right. But then y'all listen to the final ascent. So that's a Hans Zimmer. I mean, that's got beats and stuff like that. I can only imagine what the uh, like heavy Cuba like music and things like that would be. What just happened though? These are noise canceling, meaning you don't hear a lot of things around you. This is not something I would walk down the streets in unless you had a real presence of mind or driving in a car, etc. because you've got to be aware of certain sounds and things around you. All right, so the richness and the depth of sound is really, really nice. It's like, insane. I just much better quality than anything I've ever listened to. Now, I don't own like beats or bows or I don't own anything like that but I mean, the sound is amazing on these I yeah pretty wild and they're very comfortable to wear they are comfortable I didn't feel like yeah. there was anything heavy like I wasn't pressing against my head or I've anything. purchased some inexpensive versions of these and I have some that go into my ears 
This is certainly much more comfortable. Oh, it's so light. comfortable. And this this material the is Napa so... Leather. It's Napa it's, leather. It's like pillows. It's just yeah. so soft. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. The I will Very say nice this. quality on these. We have to talk a little bit about sort of an elephant in the room in this uh -oh. sense, not an insult, um, that these are $799. And one of the things I did, and there's been some comments in the bond community, which is why I want to address it. Yeah. Uh, there is quite a bit of comparable, think competitor, okay. uh, headphones like this that are much more. I looked up the comparable version of the Beats version of this. Okay. And it was $1,200, oh, wow. for example. Okay. Uh, Steinhauser's, if the comparable version, for example. And of course, they would say there's nothing comparable. But it, the same level is about uh, 1200 So it's all over the board. Right. Some people are used to like Well, look, good quality electronics, right? Are gonna it's going to cost money. So that's the thing. If, if those of you who are coming on here, if you want to use your AirPods to listen to music or whatever headphones, oh my God, these blow the AirPods out of the water. <laughs> they do, but that's totally, it's totally fine if you want to do that. And also yeah. levels of kind of economical prowess as far as like accepting that. We're kind of technophiles, like we like good technology to kind of immerse us into this. But for an enjoyment of music, yeah. I mean, this hits the bill, I think. Oh, 100%. And you know, I would have to imagine that these, sometimes you pay a little bit more to get good quality, but they also will last longer. Oh, good, you know? good point. Um, I, yeah, these are really nice. I have a question. Yeah. The fact that they're 007 for somebody like you, does it make it a little... Oh, I don't care because you don't like care. you don't even see it. Yeah. I mean, first of all, the, okay, so the inside, that's just kind of... That's just cool design anyway. Yeah. And it's a, you know, that doesn't scream 007. Okay, so you got the little right at the top there. I don't know if you can see yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And like, that's it. Yeah. So nobody, you just, otherwise you see the Bowers and I, Wilkins. I actually love that they're not steel colored or black like most headphones. They're mm. blue. They're like a deep, deep it's midnight It's a very, blue, very, very dark blue. Which you love as well. I do. So yeah, I like that better than black. And again, they just feel sturdy. They feel yeah, they're good quality. A good it's a weight. high quality piece. Now I'm doing what you're doing. I'm smelling <laughs> everything like a like a monkey. It's great. Um, all right. So here's the deal. This is their way of celebrating the 60th anniversary. Am I going to lose these to you? Yes. <laughs> that was so emphatic. That was so emphatic. Yeah. Well, when you go back and you rewatch us, you'll, you'll see. I already, I already said I was taking. <laughs> I know. Uh, Bowers and Wilkins, Certain if you things, could send yeah. us a second pair uh, for this lady right here. Dang it. All right. No, but that's, I get it because you really do love. I, I love to listen to music. I listen to music all day long when I'm home. And uh, like I said, typically it has to be contained because I don't, I don't want to be blasting music while you're trying to work. So. It, this actually comes with a piece of paper that says he's only for Bond fans, though. So I think you're out. I think I qualify on some level. <laughs> just just because of all the, <laughs> the the damage I've ensued being a Bond, close to being a Bond fan. Well, this was fun. This was great. Um, we have a new way of listening to music and appreciating it. I, I and, do. Yes, I do. And a cool case to it is, boot. It's a very nice case. It's very nice. So uh, we, she, will have extreme enjoyment. Thank you for helping me review this. Hey, yeah, no problem. I mean, it's a, it is a, it's a great product. <laughs> I do love it. And can I tell you something too? I have like very, I'm very particular and sensitive about what I put on my face, like glasses. Oh, okay, good. Thanks for calling. Glasses that. need to be very lightweight. I can't stand typically wearing headphones. These have to be the most comfortable headphones I've ever put on. They are comfortable. Yeah, because I usually. I wouldn't even consider some of those other headphones because usually I don't find them comfortable, but these are actually very comfortable. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah. And, and they just go right on and they're very comfortable. She's gone. And she's gone. Are you still listening to music? No, you turned it off on me. I'm <laughs> going to put it back on. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, while she's doing that, um, we're going to say our goodbyes. First of all, thank you so much, Bowers and Wilkins, for sending this for letting us play in your world. Uh, you kind of knocked it out of the park with this one. This is really appreciative. We'll finish our drinks. One of us will listen to music. Uh, Danielle, thank you so much. Thank you. She's so sweet. These are really nice. I love these. <laughs>
Yeah. And that's my life. In the meantime, this has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Bye. I've always had a love of sound and music. When I was about five years old, I used to carry on a cassette recorder and record all the strange sounds in my house and uh, also tape the songs off the radio I liked. And that sort of set me on a lifelong journey to discover this sort of world that is out there of unusual and fascinating and emotional music. I can remember very clearly watching films in the cinema where you're kind of overwhelmed by the scale of not only the picture but the, the sound. And up to the age of about nine or ten, I felt like I wanted to be a part of the noise that was made that made me feel the way I felt. I think everyone can relate to the emotional power of music. It's one of the few things that is so intrinsically connected to the sort of emotional map of your life. Music's an extraordinarily powerful memory reservoir. Obviously within that, then you've got some of the most powerful film schools ever made, defining Bond films. Well, the Bond theme has been with us as long as the Bond film series has been with us. So for 60 years, it's been a part of life in this country one of the most famous film themes ever written, oft imitated, never bettered. There's been multiple music scores over the years of Bond that have been recorded at Abbey Road, such as Skyfall and Spectre, both of which were actually recorded on our loudspeakers. Burroughs and Wilkins have been here since long before me. They've been trusted by engineers for generations. Everything really about the speakers is it's kind of no compromise, and that's the, the same way that we approach recording. When the directors and sometimes actors and producers come along, I get them to do two things. I get them to stand in the room with the orchestra to appreciate the brilliance of the performance. But then I come back into the room and I said, let's just listen to this just with the music and the picture because you will never hear this again like this. It's an amazing experience to get a, a first-hand seat at a, you know, a talent such as David Arnold. Getting to sit in that room and feel the power of this orchestra recreated is just a breathtaking spectacle to behold. For the 60th anniversary of Bond, we thought the sort of fitting way to celebrate our history was to focus on the history of the music in the films. So we partnered with Bowers and Wilkins on their PX8 007 edition headphones. Bowers and Wilkins came to us and said, we're looking to do this partnership with Bond. Can you go away? research it, come back with some ideas. We were discussing things with Eon Production and we managed to go to meet their archivist, Meg. Well, I took samples from every decade of Bond, from sort of hand props to costume to, you know, gadgets, and let them kind of look and see what related to their project. What we focused on was the very first time you meet James Bond. The moment you see him, you're looking at this arm which comes into shot and then it just reveals him beautiful connery in the midnight blue tuxedo with the shawl collar and the slightly rounded silk cuffs and the three buttons with the button open he looked like you would want james bond to look he felt dangerous and he felt confident and the music's doing all that as well so the combination of those two things all of a sudden you go like oh that's the guy him this is such a, an iconic um, image of Bond. And so that was really our starting point for the sort of the colorways we chose for these headphones. The premise of the 007 edition is pretty straightforward. It takes all of the acoustic advances that make that product so special and it dresses it in an exclusive bespoke suit. I like minimal things, really, and I think that they're just sophisticated and, and subtle, and I just love blue. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Bowers and Wilkins put into this product elegance and glamour. There's a quality to it, a high quality, and that's very Bond. Bowers and Wilkins aim to develop absolutely the finest reproduction of sound that you can get, and that goes from right up at the 800 series all the way down to the more affordable speakers. 
and the PX8007 editions are the flagship version of that. They use the finest materials, the active noise cancellation is fantastic, the torque is fantastic. We apply this philosophy of True Sound, which is about trying to recapture the artist's performance as it was originally intended and making sure that the end customer gets that in whatever product they're listening to. I think our production process probably mirrors very closely that of the Bond movie production process in that we're about performance, creating the best possible products we can. That just feel like the kind of quality objects that the character of Bond would want to be associated with. There's almost an obsession about the craft here. You can tell there's an obsession about the detail. I think would kind of identify with this sort of spirit of what James Bond's supposed to be about, perfection and the aspirations around elegance class and style. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.